What is going on everybody, it's your favorite Invert here and today we're going to do away with the remote control for the Mavic Pro. We're only going to fly in Wi-Fi mode. We're going to go over everything you need to know to fly Wi-Fi mode with the Mavic Pro. Let's get into it. So before you start, there's a couple of things we need to go over first of all. Get the settings you need to apply prior to flying in Wi-Fi mode. First off, go ahead and disconnect the battery and you will find your Wi-Fi password right there. That is what you'll need to write down so that you can connect. Go ahead and place our battery back on. Second thing you'll need to do prior to starting the Mavic Pro. Ensure that the switch is set from RC to Wi-Fi. That is the major settings that you need to know prior to connecting to Wi-Fi mode. Additional important facts to note about Wi-Fi mode in the Mavic Pro is distance, speed, and height. Distance. 80 meters is as far as you'll be able to fly away from your phone connected with Wi-Fi mode. 50 meters is how high you'll be able to fly in Wi-Fi mode and speed drastically reduced while in Wi-Fi mode disappointing. The benefits of Wi-Fi mode. If you don't want to go through the hassle of connecting your remote control to do active track functions, that flight feature is still available in Wi-Fi mode. Launch your Mavic Pro, select active track, track your object, you're good to go. Sport mode, deactivated can't fly sport mode. So what's the benefits of Wi-Fi mode? None. Unless you're out of battery on your controller and you really want to fly then you can fire up in Wi-Fi mode and fly with your phone. But then again we're flying in our backyard. Plenty of charge ports I think we'll find a way. So let's see what Wi-Fi mode can do. So if, when you first get into the app and connect to the Mavic, this is the screen that you will be presented. You can still configure your settings, top right hand corner, you can still do everything you want. Just notice the home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. The return to home function is different in Wi-Fi mode. If ever Wi-Fi is broken, your connection between your phone to the Mavic Pro, it will initiate return to home no matter what. So that's a good fail safe there. And take off. We'll initiate the auto takeoff. Let's go ahead and do it. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Okay, now notice if you push, place your thumbs on the controls, they show up with your controls. Release your thumb and your controls disappear. So, let's go forward flight. Now let's go reverse flight. And it acts the same way as if you were flying with your remote controller. Once you release controls, it stops moving. So let's go. Now this is me sliding my thumb all the way to the left. And all the way to the right. It's not like it's flying in uh, tripod mode. It's not the speed of it. It's slightly faster, but it's still I mean, it's still slow to a point. Your precision is definitely not as great as expected, as it would be if you were flying with your remote. But I'm actually impressed with the, uh, with the overall sensitivity of the controls. It's actually not that bad. Alright, let's go take it to the 
the altitude maximums. Let's see what it does. All right, we're picking it up. It's showing about 110 feet, still going up. 120 feet, still going up. 50 feet. Maximum flight altitude reached. There you go. All right, so it let us go up to 164 feet. And that's straight above us. So now let's go into forward flight and see how far it'll let us go away. Maximum flight distance reached. Okay, so 257 feet is the distance that allowed me to fly away from my phone and 164 feet is the max altitude. What happens if? I do not have anything. Wi-Fi is turned off. But, it's coming home. There it is. Not doing anything. Now reestablish connection. So we have managed to connect via Wi Fi to our iPad. The interesting thing that I found immediately about using an Apple product rather than Android is that the Apple product actually prompts me with simulated joysticks on the iPad. It did not for my Note 5. Uh, I haven't tested any other Android device, I'm not sure, but it could be different. I'm just saying what sticks out already to me is the Apple products are better supported than Android. These dark, darker points are the actual control simulated control sticks so that was not present in the Android which I'm using a Samsung Note 5 so let's see if we can activate takeoff using the controls nope won't let you do it so we will actually activate flight using automatic takeoff Okay, if you heard that or not, but the, the home point was set once it took off. So again, let's test the altitude. Altitude first. Oh, there we go, 164 feet. All right, now let's test the distance. So I still haven't found a good screen recording app for the iPad, so if anybody has any suggestions on something to try, let me know, and we will use that. Alright, so 260, 261 feet, 164 in altitude, 261 in distance, good to know. Let's simulate what happens if we turn airplane mode on, Wi Fi is off, and we will wait for the Mavic to return to home. Alright, Mavic has figured out that it has no signal and is returning to home.
Now that is an anomaly. For my Note 5, it waited until I regained connection to Wi-Fi and allowed it to land. But for the iPad, it automatically landed. I wonder if there's a setting that, if there's a misconfiguration on one or the other. If you know what happened or if you're aware of this, let me know in the comments below. That'd be interesting to find out. So I hope you found this a little bit helpful and insightful. I am not particularly a fan of Wi-Fi mode. It's too restrictive. It doesn't allow you the full functionality of the drone. But like I said earlier, I am sure there are situations and times when you're flying that Wi-Fi mode be of some benefit to you. If you found yourself in a situation that Wi-Fi mode has helped you out, leave it in the comments below. I'd like to hear from you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks for checking out my channel.